In future wars, pilot losses will be reduced by using weapons such as the Tomahawk land attack missile. 297 TLAMs were fired from battleships and submarines at the most heavily defended targets in Iraq. At least two were shot down, but the rest flew some 600 miles at heights as low as 100 feet before hitting targets smaller than a garage door. TLAMs are the metallic face of modern warfare. Intruders usually flew in groups of four and dropped both laser-guided bombs and unguided gravity bombs. Laser-guided bombs were the weapons of choice, but poor weather over Iraq often made it impossible for laser designators to lock onto targets. On poor weather days, A6Es dropped cluster bombs and other unguided munitions. Okay, come in at 237 on the heading. Roger. Take a just to make sure we got them off. Roger, right on the uh, honeycomb that we were talking about going for. They're still dropping. Roger that. See how we do here. Oh, yeah. A little bit short, not bad. Nice picture. Yeah, nice picture though. I'm gonna leave it on there for a... Uh-oh, we got... Barrage fire, right around 15 grand. Roger. Intruders were also sent out to stop Iraqi naval vessels carrying anti-ship missiles and sea mines. Those things are difficult because they're moving targets. It's not like a land target that you say, hey, I know where it is today, I know where it's going to be tomorrow. And because they're constantly moving, um, they're difficult to find and they're difficult to attack. the latter stages of the war with the depth of the water you'd get situations you have a sunk boat out there somewhere in the gulf and you'd get a radar blip and you'd go up there to investigate expecting it to be a target and here it's something that's already sunk and it's still sticking up above the water but not all a6s were carrier based marine corps pilots flew intruders and prowlers from land bases in saudi arabia during the peak of Operation Desert Storm, 93,000 Marines, almost half the active duty force, were in the Gulf area. Marine intruders flew close air support and interdiction missions to protect the soldiers on the ground. The Marines brought 20 A6E intruders and 15 EA-6B prowlers to the Persian Gulf. Like their Navy counterparts, Marine A6 crews brought a variety of weapons to bear against hostile forces. But Marine pilots have closer ties to ground troops than other aviators. Their number one priority is to do whatever they can to aid and protect Marines on the ground. But whether flying from land or sea, A6s proved that an old design is not necessarily an outdated design. I think the reputation that we have, the capability that we have with this airplane is just superb. Uh, everybody here in this hangar, though, would tell you that they'd like a replacement for the A6. It is old. It's been around since the early 1960s. And they've done a good job with improving it. You know, the internal systems, changing the software, giving us additional capability. But to have some things such as stealth technology, uh, other technology to the internal components would only make us more survivable. However, given the package that we have to work with, it, it's an exceptional platform. From January 17th to February 27th, Navy and Marine pilots flew some 26,000 combat and support sorties. After the war, the Secretary of Defense, Richard Cheney, said, in a crisis overseas, the first thing somebody asks is, where's the nearest aircraft carrier? 
Certainly, carrier mobility was a critical factor in August 1990, when the USS Eisenhower and the USS Independence raced to the Gulf after Iraq invaded Kuwait. The swift deployment of Navy carriers, combined with the prompt arrival of Air Force F-15s, might have been the reason Iraq did not continue its push into Saudi Arabia. Sea power also might have helped dissuade Iraq from carrying out its threats to use chemical weapons against soldiers and civilians. The United States let it be known that its carrier battle groups might be equipped with special weapons, the military's polite term for nuclear arms. It is unlikely that the coalition would have permitted the use of nuclear weapons in the Gulf. But if thousands of Arabs, Israelis, and Americans had died in a nerve gas attack, opinions could have changed. In any event, just the threat of nuclear arms seems to have had a chilling effect. Aircraft carriers let the United States quickly respond to crises. In the Gulf War, naval aviation played a crucial part in the coalition victory. We will return in a moment to... Have you shut down your engine? That's a negative. I'm waiting to be chalked. Oh, Roger. Put it a little bit to the right uh, to, clear, to clear the taxiway. I think I'm pretty well clear right now. Got the hotels on the right, the little harbor. Well, as far as this one, there is two cars of looking the wrong way. Look at the taxi with mine. There is a twin landing time at one zero. Thank you, Mr. Agent. Thank you. Dead eye, final stop. Dead eye, Glutal Land 3 4, the wind is gone. Way through here. Two, three, green. 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 Okay, they are calling you on the 15, sir. Yeah, it's got to be them right there. Here's a flare. Good. And a bundle of chaff. Oof, good. I'm going to lock up the trailing uh, F1 here. I really appreciate that. Like Norm said. Yeah, it looks like the F1s are climbing now. You see they're at 21,000 feet now. Let me see who this is. Uh-huh. There's the trailers right there. Two Victor, Victor, Victor 15 is our Victor 3. It's our Victor what? 3. All right, copy. Let's go Victor 3. So I'm push call 5. Hey, check. Falcon, thanks. Falcon with you. 0 1 from Falcon 0 5 and Red 4, ready check. Bang, loud and clear. Long clear, our operator. Roger, we'll go to so half 14, so half 14. Spot 1-1 one, one searching, uh, pause it. Okay, put it right to follow me, I'll take you to the target. Take one line, target. And right now we're on the scope. To the best spot, to the best spot, to the best spot. Okay. Visual with me, I am visual with the target. Okay. okay. Uh, Follow the junction. Saying equals left 9 o'clock, check. Target. Roger. I will keep in first, sir. Say again? I will keep it for you. Okay, I'm coming now in. 
Macar, Zulman, 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 Zulman,